Hi, I'm Mike Chappell, and in this Cert Mike Explains video, I'm going to tackle a topic that trips up many people when they take cybersecurity certification exams, the BIBA Integrity Model. Now, this model sounds intimidating because it's very academic and theoretical, but it doesn't need to be that scary. I'm going to break it down in simple terms and give you two important rules that you need to remember to answer exam questions. Now, the first thing you need to know is that the BIBA model is all about the integrity of information. That means that we're not concerned about confidentiality when we're using this model. We're talking about protecting information from any unauthorized changes. We want to prevent someone from intentionally or accidentally altering information in a way that makes that information incorrect. Now, the second important thing to understand is that the BIBA model is really talking about a very high security environment that uses something we call multi-level security. That means that we have an environment where individuals have security clearances and are only allowed to access information that matches their security clearance level. And the most common example of this is a military organization where information is classified into levels like confidential, secret, and top secret. Finally, before we dive into those two rules of the BIBA model, I want to warn you that this is very much a theoretical model. Trying to fully implement the BIBA model in the real world would be very, very difficult, if not impossible. I'll explain why in a few minutes, but the fact that we can't really fully implement the BIBA model doesn't mean that it isn't useful to us in the real world. The model is still helpful because it gives us a way to think about the threats to the integrity of our information. As we work through the two rules of the BIBA model, I'm going to use an example that I'd like you to follow along with. Imagine that you're a military commander, and you're planning the invasion of a make-believe country called Aragon. The invasion is going to take place next week, and you're working with your team to develop the plans. And you've decided, of course, that those plans are very sensitive, so you're classifying them as top secret. Now, of course, you want to protect the confidentiality of those plans because you don't want the enemy to find out that you're coming. But you also want to protect the integrity of the plans because you don't want your subordinates to get confused about what they're supposed to do. In this picture, all of the people in green are in on the plan. They all have top secret clearances. Now, of course, there are a lot of other people around who don't know about the plan. They might only have secret clearances and they aren't allowed to know what's going on. They're shown here in orange. Now imagine that each one of these groups has a shared to-do list for next week. The top secret version of the to-do list says invade Aragon, but the secret version of the to-do list says finish security awareness training. You want to make sure that everyone who is in on the plan knows that it's going to take place. The first rule of the BIBA model is the simple integrity property. That says that someone should not be able to read information at a security level that's lower than their clearance. Or in our example, someone with a top secret clearance shouldn't be able to read secret information. Now, that might sound counterintuitive at first. Why wouldn't we want someone with a really high security clearance to read information that's classified at a lower level? Well, remember, the purpose of the BIBA model is to protect the integrity of information. We don't want anyone to get access to incorrect information when they are cleared to access correct information at a higher level. Coming back to our military planning example, this would mean that we don't want our green commanders here to read the orange secret file that says we're spending next week finishing our security awareness training. Those people need to be preparing for the invasion. We can summarize this simple integrity rule in three words. No read down. We don't want someone with a higher security clearance reading information classified at a lower level because that information might be incorrect. Now, before I explain the second part of the BIBA integrity model, I want to take a moment to invite you to visit my website at certmike.com. On that site, I have free study plans put together to help you earn your next cybersecurity certification. The plans tie together the content that you'll find in study guides, video courses, and practice tests to help you prepare for your next certification exam and pass that test on the first try. Also, if you're enjoying this Cert Mike Explains video, please take a moment to click the like button below to help other people discover it. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be among the first to see my new cybersecurity videos as they come out. The second rule of the BIBA model is the STAR integrity property. The STAR integrity property says that someone should not be able to write information to a higher security level than their clearance. 
For example, a user with a secret clearance should not be able to write information to a top secret file. We're doing this for the same reason that we didn't let someone with a top secret clearance read secret information. We want to prevent misinformation. In this case, if we allow someone with a secret clearance to write information in a top secret file, they might unintentionally write a file that says next week is security awareness training in a place where top secret cleared people can read it. That could cause those top secret cleared people to not know about the planned invasion of Aragon. We can also summarize the STAR integrity rule in three words. No, write up. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the BIBA integrity model doesn't really work so well in the real world. The reality is that people with different security clearances need to share information all the time. So you're not likely to see any organization enforcing the BIBA rules in your work environment, but you definitely need to understand what threats the model is protecting against and understand these two rules when you take the exam. Remember, BIBA means no read down and no write up. I hope this video helped you understand the BIBA integrity model. If it did, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more cybersecurity content.